Learning with Papa Sean and Ailani. And Mommy too. All right. Welcome back to a special episode of Ailani's Little World. Woo! Today, we're going to learn about sink and flow. Sink or flow. What is sink or flow? Why do some things sink and some things float? Do because you know? some things that sink are heavy. So like my hand's heavy, so I get so it could sink on the bottom. That's right. And some things that are light can float on the top. That's right. Now it's actually about density. We can get something like a ball of metal. This is a ball of metal. Need you want to hold that real quick? Mm -hmm. Don't it's put it in. It's heavy. It's quite heavy. It's not just heavy. It's what we call dense. Now, what is density? Density means that there is a lot of stuff in a small space and it makes it feel heavy. When we take something dense and we put it in water, let's see what happens. Do you think it's going to sink? I think it's going to sink. If I drop it, it sinks. It's very dense. And because it's dense, it sinks. A ball is done. Now we're going to try something else. You guys ready? Whoa, what is that, Ailani? It's a floaty. It's a floaty. It's not just any floaty. What type of floaty is that? It's a unicorn floaty. It's a unicorn floaty? Should we put it on the water? Mm -hmm. Whoa! Now, does it sink or float? It floats. Now, do you know why it floats? Because it had to, has a lot of air, and air's not even heavy. Air's not like anything. Air does not have a lot of density. The unicorn has a lot of air in it, and it covers a lot of surface on the water. Mm -hmm. So it's going to float. You want to see something cool? We take that same metal ball, and we put him inside the unicorn. Do you think it's going to sink or float the unicorn? Mm -hmm. Float. It's still going to float, because the unicorn has so much air in it, that it will continue to float. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, right? There we go. It still floats, even with that heavy ball in there. Now, let's look at our next thing. What are we going to put in there next, Nee? A block. A plastic block. Let me ask you, do you think this is going to sink or float? I think it's going to sink. All right, let's take a look. It floats! Now, why is it floating? Because it's not a heavy thing. It's, it's not. Really, it's quite light. It's not very dense. It is quite light. Now, if we fill it with water, though, it will still. Float. It still floats. It still floats. Now, this is not very dense because it's a type of plastic, so it floats. Ooh. Okay. Now, me, let me ask you a question: Is this cow light or heavy? Quite heavy, so I think it will sink. It is quite dense, so it might sink. Are you ready to try? Yeah, I think it will sink. All right, here we go. There we go. The cow sinks. Oh no, Mr. Cow! We better rescue that cow. <laughs> Here we go. Knee, you gotta be careful. It's a snake! Oh, it's gonna bite me! No, no, no! Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's actually a friendly snake. Now, this snake is made of plastic. What do you think is gonna happen when we put this snake? I think it snake? will float. Uh, you think it's gonna float? Let's take a look at it and see. I think it's gonna sink. It floats! The snake is floating on the water. That is very cool. Now, is the snake very heavy? Not in the water. It still floats because it's not very dense. The snake doesn't have a high density because it's made from plastic. Mm -hmm. And this snake will float on water. Here, we've got something special. Now, I'm gonna do this one to show you why. Now, this is what, me? A shell. Now, if we take this shell and put it in water, what do you think is going to happen? It sinks. It does sink. The shell sinks because it's very dense. Mm -hmm. Now that makes sense, right? Because the shell is from an animal that lives in the water. Like, um, now what are those crabs that have the shell on? A hermit crab? But yeah. the hermit crab doesn't make the shell. The mm -hmm. shell is actually from a type of snail that lives underwater. Yeah, like a sea slug. Like a sea slug. Well, actually, some type of sea snail. The hermit crab borrows the shell from the snail. Pretty cool, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Now, let me introduce this one. 
These are what? Scissors. Now these scissors are special because the top is made from metal, but the bottom is made from what? Plastic. So, take a feel of those, Nee. Do you think they are going to sink or float? They are definitely going to sink. Maybe. Let's see. They sink! Mm -hmm. Wow! Now why do you think they sink? Because the, the metal can hold down the plastic because the plastic is not very heavy. That's but right. the metal is really heavy. And it's going to pull it down kind of like an anchor holds a boat in place. Mm -hmm. Right? That's because pretty good. Sometimes the boats are made of plastic. Mm -hmm. It's an eraser. Yeah, it's an eraser. Now mm -hmm. what do you think is going to happen with this one? I think it's going to float. Oh, it ah! did! It actually sank! Now why is that? Even though this is small, it's actually quite dense. It's yeah. dense rubber. And I was just joking. I did I was gonna about to say that, but I'm like <laughs> Well it's okay to be wrong sometimes. Because this is what we do with science. With science, we don't know. And we test. And that's what we call a Dang. hypothesis. Now a hypothesis is an idea we have mm -hmm. that we have to test it. And that's the scientific... I got a hypothesis. I got a hypothesis. That was a song that we saw the other day. Now, a hypothesis... From the movie. Yeah. Now, with a scientific hypothesis, we want to guess the idea with our mind, and then we test it. And that's mm -hmm. what we call the scientific method. Yeah. An idea... We test the idea and we see if it's right or wrong. This is a seahorse and it's made out of plastic. It is made of plastic. We've seen a trend here. What happens to most of the plastic toys? Sometimes they sink. But most of the time they... Float. Most of the time they float when they don't have metal on them. Now, what do you think is going to happen to this one? I think it's going to float. And it did! The scientific method showed us that we guessed that it was going to float because all of the other plastic toys floated, but we still tested it and we saw that what happens with it, Nee? It floats. It floats. Very good. Nee, what's that? A mermaid! Yeah. Mermaids live in the water, right? Mm -hmm. I wonder if she's going to sink or float. I think she's going to sink. Definitely. Let's take a look and see. She floats. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, the mermaid floats. It's quite weird. She, no, it's not though. You know, why does she float? We she does not have plastic. She's made of plastic. She's, she looks big and heavy, but, but actually she's not even heavy. No, she's not very dense. She's actually very light, and she's made from plastic. We've seen from our experiments that plastic normally floats, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, was that fun, Nee? Yeah. Should we put a phone in? Yeah. No! No, Nee! <laughs> oh, you dropped my phone in the water! It's sinking! <laughs> The phone is very heavy, and I'm sad, but my phone just sinked. <laughs> now it's gonna be broken forever. <laughs> Ooh, it's so wet. Oh, well, but we saw that my phone sinks. Now, how about we put little Ailani no, in and no, see if she no, sinks no, or floats? No, no, no. Actually, Ailani's floating. We hope that you guys had a lot of fun. We know that we did. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Ailani's Little World. Subscribe for more educational content for you and your kids.